Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gap Major and this is a let's play in The Mass, the tier 6 tech tree German destroyer. Uh, this is a game of capture the base on Trident. On the enemy team we have an Akasuki, Akasuki, Jervis, Benson, so it's a very interesting mix of destroyers. We have an Indianapolis, Radar, Hipper, really good sonar. Then we have Gneisenhauer, Jean Bart and Vanguard, so it's a tier 6 and 7 game. Um, this could be quite an awkward game I think they've got some very strong ships on the enemy team or well, definitely some well, not strong ships individually but like strong ships in general slash good um, good availability now I'm just here's a good one so you look at the mini map two big ships been spotted on the left two big ships been spotted in the center one big ship spotted on the right now you just got to fill in the gaps with destroyers so I know I've got two destroyers on this flank from the vanguard and the vanguard's breaking off in the center we have an Akasuki so that's one Akasuki down so that means I know I'm not going to come up against a double Akasuki so at least one of the destroyers is going to be a gun destroyer um, so I'm looking at probably a combination of Akasuki, Jervis and Benson The enemy started the ball up into the center while it looks like our team's pushing out to the different flanks and stuff. And I've been watching the minimap just a little bit too much and nearly potatoed into the island. Now I don't have a twist and track on the mass, so I don't have an indication of whereabouts the enemy destroyer is. But then that also means, oh good lord, okay we're just... Yep, you can just have some torpedoes, and I will put on some sonar, and I will put on my engine boost, and I will run like a madman, and hope that I can kill them. Okay, we're just going to flick the rudder right round, and then we'll come back the other way. And another destroyer has been spotted in the centre, and that's the Benson. So, the only other destroyer that's going to be left over here, possibly, is going to be... No, no, because all the destroyers have been spotted. So, yeah, the Akasuki. The two Akasukis have been spotted, I think. No. No, I'm reading that wrong. It's one of our Akasukis that have died in the middle. So, one Akasuki and the Benson have been spotted in the centre. Uh, that means the Jervis probably spawned over here. So, I'm playing a bit of a Jervis hunt, and my Sena is going to run out, unfortunately. Um, so, I won't be able to take advantage of that. However, managed to get first blood. Just got to watch that the Indianapolis is also coming over to this flank, and that is quite a strong cruiser. Um, so, something I have to bear in mind. I don't want to be getting too close to the Indianapolis. I'm now spotted, and here's the Jervis. Uh, we are going to push the Jervis uh, until we are on the edge of our sonar range. Admittedly, we're only going to have 20 seconds of it or less. Um, there he is. And I'm going to stop because I know the Jervis's sonar range is going to be three and a half kilometers. Here, it, there it is. Uh, so now I'm going to reignite my engine and get moving. I've got torpedoes, but I'm going to hold off until he does something crazy like he goes broadside on. Uh, engine's gone, rudder's gone. Uh, he's staying nose on uh, until the last second. I'm not going to damage Con until... Yeah, he's committed. So I'm going to do that. And there we go, there goes the Jervis. Right. What's left? Indianapolis is not looking at me, so I'm going to get away with this, I think. So I'm just going to get some distance between me and the Indianapolis, because if the Indianapolis does come with radar, it's going to have 8.4 kilometers range. So I need to run like a madman, I think. Uh, yep, please. Okay. And we're getting don't really want to use a smoke screen here um, what I might do I might see if um, I can ask this Helena if they would like a smoke screen um, unfortunately oh no the Helena's getting torpedoed from the right if he can survive I'm gonna try and get to him and give him a smoke screen um, He's on fire now as well. Basically trying to let him know that I will set him a smoke screen if he starts to turn. Ah, oh, shit, he's 
later. Right, the Indianapolis is weak. I should really take advantage of that. So I'm going to try and do this if I can get rid of the Indianapolis. Yes, the Indianapolis is going to hurt. But I can hurt the Indianapolis and I've got a fire and the Indianapolis is gone. Uh, seeing a Benson here, which is not good. Um, probably set a smoke screen and break off. Um, especially when they have some battleships who obviously have some decent aiming. Gonna click my rudder now and start retreating. Um, I want to engage their ships on my terms, not their terms. So I'm gonna fall back and almost create that dead zone um, where I destroyed the Akasuki. No, yeah, the Akasuki and the Jervis before. So I'm just gonna fall back because. I don't want to get sucked up into that pocket where I'm going to get shot at from two battleships and a Benson. And the Benson will outgun me and because the Benson has the highest DPM for a tier 6 destroyer. Whereas I've got mm, below average. It's not good, unfortunately. And then my advantage against the Benson would be my health. But I'm already quite low health-wise. Um, for a destroyer at least. Uh, it's not the kind of amount of health I'd like to do a destroy versus destroy engagement. So I just dump the smoke screen and run. Um, my torpedo is quite short range as well. Okay, and there's the Akasuki gone as well. So we've got a ship advantage here. So I think it's one of those where you're probably better off hanging back and waiting for the enemy rather than rushing in. Um, if you rush in, you're just going to get picked off in dribs and drabs. I mean, ideally, that's what we want to be doing to them. So just cr just falling back, created a bit of dead space between me and where the Jervis were, uh, the Benson was, uh, and also where the Vanguard was. I do have an engine boost if I really need to um, push the pedal to the metal. But I also want some, I want some backup from my battleships. Basically, if I'm going to end up in an engagement, I don't have the DPM to deal with the Benson. I don't have the health to deal with the Benson. So I want to fall back to someone who can. And so if I fall back to the Iowa and the Jer uh, the Jean Bar, um, combined, they should be able to help me against the Benson, as long as I set myself up off of, off of them within what I call like enemy DD range so I want to make sure that they're close enough to me to support me against the Benson but also I'm not so close to them that the Benson can get close to them and get a torpedo strike off without being spotted. So about here would be quite so again I've fallen back it's all about reading the map and knowing what your enemies are going to be doing. Uh, I don't think any of those torpedoes are going to hit unfortunately but it doesn't mean we can't have another crack at it in a bit. Uh, the Benson is behind me, so I need to just keep running. I'm going for request assistance. Um, I'm not going to shoot. I really want to draw the Benson back. Keeping the Benson spotted though, which is quite strong. Um, I really needed one of them to actually hit the Benson quite significantly. Benson's probably going round a long way. Back where? All I can really do is a patrol. Maschinen boost deaktiviert. Well, we're gonna do this. Knocked his engines out. Try and dodge those shots. Hope. Oh, my battleship's fluffed it. Okay, that's my engine and my rudder, so... I 
I'm going to pop a smoke and hopefully drop off detectability. Um, I can live without that engine. My hope is that because he's shooting, he's going to stay spotted and the enemy, my friendly battleship, is going to chip in. That's what I really need. I need my engine back as soon as possible. And my temptation is to use what's left of my sonar to spot him. What I might have to do as well is just get these out. Vanguard's probably gone. Oh, please, can they finish up Vanguard? Nice, 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 nice. Right. See if I can spot him. If I do spot him, it's only going to be for a millisecond. So we are just, as soon as we've got guns on target, we are just going to shoot. There we go. So we killed three destroyers? Yeah, we killed three destroyers. So, um, that was quite intense destroyer versus destroyer combat. Um, only 37,000 damage because most of the targets I was engaging were low HP pool um, ships. Um, came top of the team though, um, so rewarded quite healthily for doing it. Um, lots and lots of almost behind the scenes thinking when it comes to this kind of combat. Well, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Oh, made a pretty penny as well. Made a very pretty penny. Hmm, very nice, very nice. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, thank you very much. If you have any of your own game captures that you'd like to submit for commentary, any good games, clutch moments, funny moments, um, mistakes, um, I mean, they can either be put in a commentary video or stitched together to make a, a funny video or to, uh, with a couple of my own personal clips and mistakes, I should say. Um, then that would be much obliged. The email address is down in the description along with the commander build and the ship modification build for the mass used during this game. As always, I've been the Gareth Major and back to the port.